the last day before spring break, and it's the spring equinox, meaning it's the first official day of spring. I'm Merrick Graham. And I'm Caleb Harper. What would you do if your dad showed up at school to give you a cheat sheet? Your CSN News starts now. More than a thousand high school students in eastern India have been expelled for cheating on pressure-packed 10th grade examinations this week, education authorities said Friday. In the past three days, authorities have expelled more than a thousand students for using unfair means in the examination. At many places, the authorities even asked the students to enter the examination halls by taking off shoes and parting with their cell phones. The, the incident has gotten widespread attention after Indian television footage showed parents and friends of students scaling the outer walls of school buildings to pass cheat sheets to students taking exams inside. Burger King ads in Japan promise a limited edition perfume for April Fool's Day to make you smell like a couple of all beef patties. The name may lose something in translation, but flame grilled fragrance will sell for 5,000 yen, about $41 and comes with a free Whopper. How's that for an offer? It's a one-day sale, according to Burger King, and only available at stores in Japan. Sorry, rest of the world. Burger King did this a few years back in the United States with a fragrance flame. There was less sea ice coverage in the Arctic this winter than in any year since satellite measurements began nearly four decades ago, researchers said Thursday. The National Snow and Ice Data Center, a government-sponsored research group, said that in late February, ice cover in the Arctic Ocean reached its maximum extent, 5.61 million square miles, which is about 7% less than the average from 1981 to 2010 and about 1% less than the previous lowest year, 2011. The center said that changes in the jet stream created warmer than normal conditions on the Pacific side of the Arctic. We'll be right back after this. Come out for a night with the stars, and not the Hollywood kind. Honolulu Farms will be hosting Nampa's 2015 prom. The theme is Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. Join us on April 18th from 8 to 11 p.m. at Honolulu Farm in Eagle. Honolulu Farm is up Highway 44 on Moon Valley Road. Much like the great piece of art, the stars will align to make this a great night. So get ready and ask your date if they're ready to Vincent Van Gogh to prom. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 70 with a low of 46 being sunny. Tomorrow's high is 66, low 36, also sunny. The Nampa Boys Rugby Club will be playing Boise's Copperhead Rugby Club tonight on the Nampa High practice field at 5.30 p.m. Please come out and support the boys for their first home game. If you still owe money on the yearbook, please pay the remaining balance as soon as possible. You can make your payment in the front office. You will not get your yearbook until it's paid in full. National Honor Society applications are due today by 3 p.m. No late applications will be accepted. Please turn in completed application to Miss Stanton in room 129. Also, the next Skills USA meeting will be held Tuesday, March 31st at 2.45 in Mr. Babcock's room number 410 and there will be a HOSA meeting today after school at Skyview in Miss Bollinger's room. Hey all you basketball fans, Sports Med Club is hosting a three-on-three -three basketball tournament on April 8th. Cost to play is $5 per player or a team of four for $18. All teams are co-ed. Don't feel like playing? Come and watch for only $3. The tournament will start at 5 p.m. and the doors open at 4.30 for players. St for players. Staff, we will have a staff bracket as well with a special teacher discount of only $3 to play. We want to see the champions from the student bracket play the champions from the staff bracket. Sign up in the athletic training room until April 3rd at 3 p.m. Today's SAT word of the day is intransigent, which means unwilling to change. You could use it in this way. The mother was intransigent about her curfew, about the curfew she gave her daughter. That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Bulldog Edition.